recall that we have already seen how to graph a complex number and that if we look at the whole picture we have here, then we can clearly see a right angle triangle. Right, how can you get the modulus, which is r, and the argument or angle, which is theta in this case, when given the Cartesian form of a complex number, which means if x and y are known. We will start by looking at the modulus. To get the modulus, can you see a relationship between x, y, and r, which are these ones here? If you realize x, y, and r are the sides of a right angle triangle, and therefore they are related through Pythagoras' theorem. If you remember Pythagoras' theorem, Pythagoras' theorem says that hypotenuse square is equal to the addition of the squares of the other two sides, which is x squared plus y squared. In order to get r, we will take the square root of x squared plus y squared. That's the formula we will use to get the modulus of a complex number. What about the argument or the angle? Now think about, can you see a relationship between x, y, and theta? This time, realize that x and y are sides of a right angle triangle. And then theta is an angle. Y is precisely the opposite side and X is precisely the adjacent side. Therefore, they are related through tangent. Then tan of theta is the same as Y over X. So this is the relationship we are going to use in order to get the angle. Therefore, you can get the modulus by applying Pythagoras and you can get the argument by applying trigonometric ratios, in particular the tangent of an angle. To get this last one, it is important that you remember that you need to plot your complex number in order to know in which quadrant it is placed. As we have seen in previous videos, you can have two angles with the same tangent, sine or cosine.